considered one of Australia's strangest insects. It is the Creatonodos ganges moth, also known as the Baphomet moth and Australian horror moth. It presents itself like an Elden Ring boss, also found in East Asia. These creatures have caused a recent disturbance on the internet, some believing footage to be fake. However, this moth's ominous appendages would be known as hair pencils. The enormous, inflatable structure that unfurls from deep within the male's abdomen is used to waft a heavy cocktail of chemicals that permeates the environment. These chemicals repel other male moths to drive away competition in finding a mate, as well as intoxicates the females and even tranquilizes them. Despite it looking like a sinister alien, the creature is harmless, as long as you don't plan on eating several of them. The blobfish, crowned ugliest animal in 2013, is a notorious deep sea creature which image has been made famous across the internet. The blobfish's popularly depicted appearance is actually the form it takes after sustaining extreme decompressed tissue damage. The damage is due to it being removed from the high pressure of the deep sea, two to three thousand feet down below where it lives. In its natural state, here it is seen waiting and stalking for its next prey as it is an ambush predator. As you can see, it's nothing like it appearance when on the surface, making it one of the most misunderstood creatures that is both bullied for its appearance and profited from its suffering. The Northern Stargazers, also known as the zombie fish, is a creature that has eyes a face that only zombies could love. The fish can be found on the Atlantic shores, between the states of North Carolina and New York in the United States. The top of the stargazer has electric organs behind their eyes, which can generate and transmit an electric shock. They have an upward-facing mouth and their eyes are situated on top of their head which pokes up through the sand, hence the name stargazer. It has completely adapted to spending most of its life buried in sand, waiting to ambush its prey and devour it whole. This is the star-nosed mole. It has one of the most shockingly strange and unique noses of all its mammal counterparts. Its snout with its fleshy tentacles radiating in a star-like pattern looks like two hands coming out at you. Its nose acts more like eyes rather than a nose due to its insufficiently developed eyesight. Star-nosed moles are excellent swimmers and have even been observed swimming under ice as these creatures are able to obtain most of its food source underwater. Most moles can swim, but the star-nosed mole is the most aquatic of North American moles. The bobbit worm lives under the ocean bed, creating a burrow waiting patiently for prey to pass by before popping up out of the sand to stun it, kill it, and eat it. Mainly in the Atlantic Ocean, but can also be found in the Indo-Pacific region. These creatures' sizes range anywhere from 4 inches to 10 feet. The worm has no eyes, but uses five antennae on their head that are used to sense prey. The mandibles can be retracted inside the body, which are used to stun its targets, and can even snap some prey in half to better pull it down the hole where it resides. dragonfish. A creature found in the deep ocean waters mainly inhabits Australian territories and can be found over 6,000 feet below. The images shown are of the females which are black with ominous canine-like teeth. The males are brown, lacking the female's teeth, pelvic fins, and unique look. The larva stage of these creatures are quite peculiar. The eyes of the fish dangle out of the body like a snail, but only retreat as the fish ages and reaches maturity, quite small and friendly looking, before they make their final transformation. This is a life-size model of a giant millipede, named the Arthropleura, the largest land-dwelling bug ever to be discovered. Although extinct today, those who learn about it 
may have just found a new source of nightmare fuel. The creature could grow to be almost two feet wide, and often more than six feet long in size. Virtually blind, it relies on its senses to get around. A fossil of this invertebrate was found on the northern beaches of England. It is said to have lived over 300 million years ago. Is it a worm? Is it a snake? No. This creature would be known as the Mexican mole lizard. It is one of four species of amphisbenians that have front legs. They also have a massive bone in their middle ear. It allows them to detect vibrations in the ground and track their prey. Some people in the Baja, Mexico region share an ongoing myth that this creature will wait for an unsuspecting person to use a public bathroom, then crawl into the toilet and burrow inside your orifices with its little arms. Fortunately, those aren't the holes that they are interested in crawling into. This viral video would cause a lot of confusion, and some would believe it to be a hand of a monster hiding in a cave. However, others would come to the conclusion that it is actually the legs of the coconut crab, also known as the robber crab, or palm thief. It is the largest terrestrial arthropod known currently, and is found mostly in Australia and Madagascar. They often feed on fruits, seeds, and nuts. Although these crabs have also been known to break a finger or two if you're not careful around them, and have also been seen going after other animals, such as large birds. Anything left unattended on the ground they will investigate and may carry away with them as well, thereby gaining the alternative name, Robber Crab. With the potential to be cute, these creatures often turn out looking like cracked out little demons that belong in the movie The Labyrinth or Dark Crystal. Also known as the Cursed Lemur or the Long-Fingered Lemur, it is the world's largest nocturnal primate. It is also worth noting its unusual method of finding food. It taps on trees to find grubs, then gnaws holes in the wood, which it then inserts its narrow middle finger to pull the insect out. Historically, this lemur has been viewed by villagers as a harbinger of evil and death. It is believed that if one points its skinny fingers at someone, they are marked and their demise has been predicted. They believe that the only way to defeat the curse is by killing the creature. Some villages in Madagascar go so far as to claim the animal will take matters into their own hands by sneaking into their victims' houses through the roof then going into a person's room as they sleep, finally pulling out its long finger and puncturing their victim's hearts. This would obviously be a superstition that needlessly puts a target on these poor, misunderstood creatures.